Cancer. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Uh, if you're just new to the channel, thank you for clicking on the video. I am Michelle, and this is um, my channel, Born Without Boundaries Tarot. I am a intuitive empath, mostly using my gifts as my, psych my psychic abilities and my empathic abilities to help heal and hopefully entertain as well as empower. Um, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and then ring that bell and select all notifications so you know when I upload your favorite content. A real secret to helping Born Without Boundaries grow, if you are so inclined, is watch the video all the way through. YouTube prioritizes videos that are watched for longer periods of time. It is a secret well kept, but there you have it. So just let it play. And please don't fret about commercials because we all grew up with them interrupting our favorite television shows as kids. I'll tell you what your parents told you, and that is that the commercials pay for the broadcasting, and that's that's really what it is. So there are so many ways, two ways right there to contribute to Born Without Boundaries with just your patience and prudence as opposed to anything else. And they're the biggest ways you can help Born Without Boundaries grow. Also, if you really love this video, at the end of this video, there's an extended video, which I'd love for you to join me with because um, because I love them. It's a whole other dynamic to uh, Born Without Boundaries, but it's an extension of this reading that we can continue the message over there. So um, yeah, that's another way, and uh, I hope you enjoy that too. Uh, let's get into the reading. Um, I don't really necessarily start with readings. I start with intuitive messages. And Cancerians, I gotta, I'll gotta i admit to you straight out because I am a Cancer sun and stellium in Cancer. I get blindsided by our energy and the cards really, really help me. But ultimately, let's talk a little bit about what I've been experiencing. Um, comfort and fear at the same time. And that's weird. It's just, it's totally weird. Um, because usually I'd be freaking out if I was afraid, but I'm not. I'm not right now, and that makes me feel really empowered. And no, this video is not about me. It is about you. But as fellow Cancerians, there is this essence of I'm not as weak as I used to be, right? I don't feel like I'm as diminished or by fear as I used to feel. There's no crumbling or rushing back into the shell. And I think that that comes from a wonderful understanding of who we are and just how uh, strong we are. And once you've lived through shit, like most shit don't bother you. It's like, oh, I know how to get through this. And I know that there are different levels of shit. I understand that. Um, and some things we hopefully will never have to experience, like the really bad stuff. Um, or if we've already lived through that, I mean, uh, you... <laughs> whatever world war three could hit and it would not phase us you know because once we have learned as cancerians how to um handle our emotions honor ourselves through our emotional experiences and understand that it is not forever right and we even as creatures ruled by the moon we are not we are not ruled by our emotions. We rule our emotions. And there is a level of consciousness that we have inside of us that is extraordinarily powerful. And when we can tap into that emotional power, bam, explosion. I guess what I'm telling you is trust your creative proclivities. Trust any kind of impulse or idea that's coming to you right now because I think that is what is the tether for us. We are creating something new, whether it is legitimately a new space, a new place to live, or it is a new concept, a new idea. Because think about it, even a new place to live is a new concept, it's a new idea, right? There's something new about our experience now and we, we've chosen it, we've decided it. Um, and it's a really strong and beautiful position for us to be in. Jupiter is going to be in Pisces for the rest of this year, which is a beautiful trying to our 
gentle but moody energy however it does encourage and optimism is going to be something that is readily supplied so what i'm saying to you my beautiful cancerians is enjoy that enjoy that extra sense of strength in oneself and that extra optimism that we can use to handle um any 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 energy that comes at us i'm going to start with oracle cards and then we'll get into tarot I mean, clearly y'all want to talk. Okay, watch your words in the past. Why is this coming up in the past? Probably because something with words shooting off our mouth or saying too much was a lesson for us. Or there was a sense, no, oh shit, I love when spirit interrupts me. I just got this message. We didn't say what we needed to say in the past. We shut up. We shut our mouths. We kept to ourselves and said what we thought. See the parrot? Ah, Polly want to fuck you? You know, Polly want a crackhead? Mm, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's, it's us being assholes, right? We said what we thought somebody wanted to hear instead of what we really feel. And that's something that we do. It's almost like one of our defaults when we get defensive is a sense of, oh, just make the person happy so we can scurry out of the room, you know? And then they think, oh, we're actually happy with what they were talking about or the shit that they were pulling. And we really weren't. We know that. And we hold on to that shit. Welcome to uh, Cancer World, you know? And that's just it. But this, okay, it only comes up in the past when it's in, impacting us here. So there was a sense of watch your words. We were watchful with our words. We didn't say something. Uh, or we were super careful with what we said. Okay, so how is that impacting now? Mm. Spirit has a plan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Lead me, spirit. Take me on this ride. Act as if. Okay. Okay. So we're basically still sitting here trying to be like, okay, spirit, when I like you, you were gonna say, I'm still listening. Um, act as if I think that we've been waiting. So this is the time, right? This is the time when spirit's plan is revealed to us. That's what it's saying, because we held our tongue, or maybe we didn't make the move, or you know, we wanted to be particularly, um, um play it safe in the past um or there was something unspoken there was something unspoken there was something unsaid but here is chameleon right here in front of us we couldn't see it right or we blended in somebody couldn't see us but spirit has a plan there's chameleon energy you can see and then we have spirit has a plan spirit has a plan for what could you um maybe tap us into this plan spirit because that's sort of what we want to know. What does spirit have a plan? What does spirit have a plan for? Set healthy boundaries, which is what this channel is all about. Learning how to set healthy boundaries. Set healthy boundaries. Ah! Oh, ooh. I just got struck by lightning. Okay. Spirit is sitting there watching you. It is keeping your... It is keeping something hidden right in front of you in plain sight. It is keeping you hidden in plain sight. Something is so close now, I'm sure you can feel it. It's a tremble. And that's what I think I was trying to like talk about during the, ex during the, um, the, uh, the, the first part of this, this conversation we were having, the, uh, the channeled message, right? I, it was like, you can feel it even though you can't see it. And I'm sure that that's very frustrating, but you can feel it and you know it's there. So how about this? Between you and me, we're gonna make a promise with each other. We're just gonna know what we know. We're not gonna sit here and be like, if I can't see it, then it must not be real. Bullshit, bullshit, stinky. Get rid of that, put it away. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. If you feel it, it's real. C come on, boo. Y'all know you're psychic as fuck. If you feel it, it's real. Know it. Believe it. Right? Number one. Number one. And that's going to tell spirit that you're ready. Number one. It's going to tell them, okay, see, now they have confidence in themselves without external validation. 
They're just going to know it. They're just going to be certain of themselves. Number one, check. Awesome. Number two, spirit is watching. It wants to see if you are capable of saying no where you should say no and saying yes where you should say yes, right? Instead of being, oh, you know, let's feel the room. Mm. Let's feel the room. Let's not, let's not make anybody too angry. Let's uh, be very, you know, careful here. No, spirit wants to know that you have learned to say no where you need to say no. God I love you. That is why this, the blessing is so close, boo. And I don't want to hear in the comments that bullshit of, well, then why isn't it here with me yet? Please get off my channel. Please, please, please go away. Please go away. Because I ain't talking to y'all. I ain't. I don't have time for that shit. This is for the cancers who is down with the real deal of we know our abundance is there. It is like, it, I mean, it is trembling. We can feel the trembling. We may, may not be able to hold the tangible reality of it, but we can feel its tremble. We can feel its vibration. We can almost feel it breathing. You ever seen that scene from Harry Potter where he's all in the invisibility cloak, but every once in a while people can like feel like one scene was like Professor Snape reaching out because he could like hear his breathing. You could, you know it's in the room. You just can't see it yet. It's your right. It's in the room, right? And that's that's in the room. What spirit is waiting for is to see that you know how to say no like a pro. Do you know how to say no like a pro? Because if you don't, you better sharpen up right now because your abundance is like there. It's waiting for you, boo. It is waiting for you. <laughs> ideas to life. <sighs> yeah, it's so close. So what this is all about is something that we have been working on, something that we have desired enough to actually take tangible steps of our own. We've committed our energy to this. Y'all, it's going to be different for you than it is for me. So I, I can't even talk about like what it might be for you. But I know that you know, as soon as I said it, lightning struck, baby. And here I am talking about Harry Potter spirit listens to my readings too i love that um bring your ideas to life this is the birth of the truth and the reality of your beautiful beautiful idea it is definitely something that you have been feeling maybe you're the vibe Maybe you're the vibe in the room and you've been feeling it. Maybe that's what you've been feeling. It's not a thing. It's an idea, but you haven't been able to make it tangible yet. You haven't been able to like, oh, hold it in your hands and think it. You've just been feeling it. Well, guess what? Now it becomes a thought. Now it becomes something you can hold. This is the amalgamation of the idea of the concept. This is bam. Now the lightning has struck. Like I said, the lightning has struck and people understand, see, or are very, at the very least, curious about something. This could also be happening to you, right? A sense of, oh, now I get it. Oh, and it's going to happen after the boundaries are set. After you make a very bold, and this is external, so it's not just internal. You will actually say or do something that says, can I, you know, this is making me feel uncomfortable. I'm going to have, I'm going to ask you if we could do it this way instead of the way that we've been doing this, because maybe I should have said something in the past, but I did not for whatever reason, right? For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what reason, for whatever reason, I didn't say what I needed to say. This time around, let me just go back and say, I am uncomfortable in this situation, or I know that this can be better. Um, can we make this change? Can we make this adjustment? That would be so much better, at least for me. And I hope that that's okay with you. That is definitely the type of action that spirit is waiting to see. Instead of just let somebody throw anything at you or anything on you and not say anything, it is the outward expression of your discomfort. And I know that's like, that's like, but what, why would that be so important? Because you're important. 
right? Because, because what you want and what makes you comfortable, it's important. And once you start giving it importance, then nobody else is allowed to ignore it. And so once it's not ignored, it's seen. Once it's acknowledged by you, it's going to be seen by everybody else. And it's almost like you are the one that has been breathing under that invisibility cloak. And you are about to take off that invisibility cloak when you just acknowledge I am in the room too. I am in the room too. And I know Cancer Energy is like, why don't they see it? Why don't they see it? Why don't they know? Why? Because, because most people are not telepathic, right? Because they don't know. They don't know. They, they need it to be said out loud. It needs to be established. You need to be established that you are in the room. It's time to start stop blending, boo. It's time to stop blending. Okay. I feel like I have to just shuffle. Keep shuffling. Where? where I was going to ask, what are we going to get? <laughs> I'm like a little kid on Christmas. Like, well, so what am I going to get? <laughs> but I want to know surrender now this is sagittarius energy which could imply traveling or just going the distance but it's also jupiterian energy it's like give over stop resisting stop resisting who you are what it is that really feels good to you and also just jump in like let yourself like go ahead and dive in because it's almost like Pretend you're a Sagittarius for a second. And I know you're like, how are we going to do that? Well, we're ruled by the moon, y'all. We're ruled by the moon. And the great advantage of that is the moon visits every sign for two and a half days every single month. So we do have some insight into how it feels to be or own that Sagittarius energy. What does it feel like? They don't give a fuck. Like they legitimately don't think twice about how they're making other people feel or even what might be the consequence of their actions. They just do and they live in the moment. So it's almost like surrender to the moment. I'm telling you, in this week's energy, this is all about you finally saying the shit that has been on your mind <laughs> and allowing yourself to set a boundary based on what you feel without fear of prejudice or um, um, somebody not liking you. They don't like me. They don't fucking like me. But this is just the beginning because that is actually the catalyst. There's going to be something that comes out of that so what is this surrender now it could be traveling there could be a i don't know i don't know why i'm getting four in here it is that sagittarius energy this sense of going where you have not been before um and then we have transformation is beautiful so we have moth like a moth to a flame something is just you're so attracted to it you can't you can't help it right you just have to dive in you're so attracted to it you don't even think twice about or you 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 want it so bad because flame fire fire energy it's about desire right it's like something you want so bad that means so much to you just kind of just it just let it spew that's kind of what's happening and then beautiful you probably won't even know that it's happening when it's happening because it's so natural and you're just like not getting in your own way like you usually do <laughs> it's true and you're just like let me just roll this off the top of my tongue because it just it, it actually matters to me so i'm going to say, say something and you don't realize i'm telling you right now if y'all can think about it like you've already done it and it's already started something rolling so what is that transformation is beautiful this is scorpionic energy what once seemed dead is still alive we get into the juice now this is why i laugh at the motherfuckers who like log off at like 10 10 minutes or seven minutes because like the reading just like is just getting juicy y'all what the fuck you doing right um transformation is beautiful so what seemed like it was completely lost all of a sudden comes to life, okay? I know that's still a little absurd. Tra trust in divine detours. What did I say? There is some traveling here, but there is a quick change. There is a turnaround. This could be a turnaround in somebody's passions. This could be a turnaround in somebody's interest, but it's also saying you, you prepare to kind of like 
Yeah, prepare for, uh, uh, what is this? I want to know how the message is coming in. Uh, prepare for a quick change and, and like, don't take it personally. Go with the flow. Let it ride. Let it, let it keep going. Like trust in divine detours. Say yes. Just say yes. I know I just said say no, but say yes. Say no when it makes you feel uncomfortable, but you're going to have this urge to be like, just do it. Oh, yeah, you'll know. You'll know because you're actually listening to your heart now instead of your worry or your concern or, you know, your in insecurity. When you're actually listening to your heart, this is something that's going to be very certain. You're actually not going to see this coming is essentially what this is saying. Okay, so what is this? If I can ask you, my dear Lord. Now, it could be different for all of you, but what is this? Quote, unquote, the this. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, I'm almost nervous. Okay, I'm totally nervous. I am. What is this? It's the Ten of Cups. That's my Ten of Cups equivalent. It's also if you see fourth house energy. So it does have to do with home. It does have to do with your home. It also has to do with family. Something to do with family. You get to either, either it's buying a house, establishing a new home, setting up new shops somewhere, um, your family just coming together and being closer, or starting a family with somebody which could absolutely and I'm gonna tell you right now you could be thinking of one person and then somebody else that you thought just irritated you and bothered you or rejected you all of a sudden now they're fucking interested in you there it you could feel the vibe I'm serious you just gotta let the vibe be the vibe let's go to tarot I will see you guys link is below